Another day, another story. Foods enjoyed during New Year are similar to those eaten throughout the year, but with special emphasis on bringing good fortune. Lunar New Year, also known as Chinese New Year or Spring Festival, is a joyous celebration embraced by many Asian cultures, including Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean and others. Established as a national holiday during the Han Dynasty, 206 BC to AD 220, it signals the start of the lunar calendar, welcoming spring, honoring ancestors and uniting families. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Chinese New Year. Many early Lunar New Year celebrations, rooted in ancient agricultural practices, involved edible offerings to deities and ancestors for a bountiful harvest. Today, as the holiday garners global participation from one-fifth of the world's population, food remains at the heart of the festivities, carrying rich symbolism with certain dishes signifying prosperity, health and abundance. Here's a look at some of the key foods central to Lunar New Year feasts. Noodles, to live long and prosper. Changshu Mian, known as longevity noodles, symbolizes the wish for a long and healthy life. Noodles have been traced back more than 4,000 years in Chinese diets. But the tradition of consuming these long, uncut strands, sometimes over a foot in length, is thought to have originated during the Han Dynasty. According to a popular legend, Emperor Wu associated a long face with a long life. And since, noodle, in Chinese sounds like the word, face, by his reasoning, eating long noodles would increase one's lifespan. While likely more myth than fact, that tale has endured. Chen Yuanpang, a professor and Chinese culinary specialist, tells CNN the story has woven itself into the fabric of the culture. It has also become a part of the culture and history of longevity noodles, which has been documented for more than 1,000 years, Chen says. Citrus Fruits, for Luck and Prosperity in Lunar New Year traditions, revelers believe tangerines, oranges and pomelos bring good fortune. Their Mandarin names echo words with symbolic meanings. Ju, for oranges suggests, good luck, or, fortune, sheng, for tangerine is akin to, success, and, yuzi, for pomelos sounds similar to, have, or, abundance. Historically, Time reports, parents from the Qing dynasty would place oranges near their children's pillows to scare off monsters during the Lunar New Year. And beyond their linguistic connections, the citrus fruit's vibrant colors and round shapes represent vitality and wholeness. Offering the fruits is seen as an act of good fortune for both hosts and guests, especially when delivered in pairs or multiples. Keep the leaves and stems intact, and they're even bigger symbols of longevity and fertility. Sweet Rice Balls for Unity Yuan Shao or Tang Yuan, served in syrup, are sweet glutinous rice balls that hold a special significance during the Lantern Festival, which marks the end of the Lunar New Year celebrations. These round treats, symbolic of family unity, togetherness, and the hope for a sweet and harmonious year, date back more than a thousand years to the Tang Dynasty, AD 618906. According to the BBC, the name Yuan Shao was changed to Tang Yuan, meaning round balls and soup, in the early 1900s when China President Yuan Shikai ordered it so because Yuan Shao sounded like, remove Yuan. Golden Spring Rolls for Prosperity Spring rolls are another popular dish during Lunar New Year celebrations. Their golden color and cylindrical shape are reminiscent of gold bars and, thus, wealth. According to The Independent, Bung Jin Wan Liang is a lucky saying for eating the food in China, translating to, a ton of gold. And the ingredients used inside spring rolls, such as carrots, cabbage and mushrooms, represent growth, abundance and wealth, while vermicelli noodles symbolize longevity. Fish, for abundance. In Chinese culture, yu, the word for fish, sounds like the word for surplus or abundance, and the presentation of a whole fish is a Lunar New Year staple. You cannot cut the fish. Julie Zhu, who works with the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center and was born in China, tells NBC, have the whole fish on the table, but don't eat it all. Leaving some of the dish uneaten represents the hope for abundance to carry over into the new year. Ban Chung, connection between heaven and earth. The traditional Vietnamese rice cake Ban Chung is steeped in legend and culture. Its square shape represents the connection between heaven and earth, 
signifying unity and promising good luck and fruitful harvest. The invention of Ban Cheng dates back to the era of the Hung Kings, 2879 to 258 BC. The cake's simple ingredients, glutinous rice, mung beans and pork, wrapped in banana leaves, carry deep symbolism. As people display the cake on altars and eat it during Tet, a time of hope and rebirth of nature, they remember their ancestors and express gratitude to Mother Nature and her bounty, the CBC writes. Dumplings, Pockets of Prosperity Jiaozi, the beloved Chinese dumplings, have been a staple of Lunar New Year festivities for centuries, with their origins also rooted in the Han Dynasty. The legend goes that the ear-shaped pieces of dough wrapped around various fillings were invented by Zhang Zhangjing, a sage of medicine, to cure the frostbitten ears of villagers. Over time, the tradition of making and eating dumplings during the Lunar New Year spread across China and beyond. According to the BBC, Jiaozi has a phonetic connection to the phrase, transition from old to new, and that the shape of the dumplings resembles ancient Chinese gold ingots, symbolizing wealth and good prosperity. At the same time, ingredients such as pork, shrimp, and veggies represent abundance. Korean rice cake soup adds a year of life. Consuming TTEOKGUK, a Korean rice cake soup, during Lunar New Year celebrations is believed to add a year to one's age, symbolizing the passage of time and the promise of longevity. The round rice cakes represent coins and the hope for prosperity. Meanwhile, the dish's clear broth signifies purity and the opportunity for new beginnings. Historically, according to the customs of Joseon, TTEOKGUK played a role in ancestral rituals and eating. A white food to begin the new year holds the religious meaning of rebirth for all creatures in the world. Sweet or savory, Nian Gao, lasting prosperity. Nian Gao, or sticky rice cake, is often interpreted as year high, and its name signifies the hope for growth and rising fortunes in the coming year. The cake's signature stickiness is a metaphor for a family's wish for lasting prosperity. According to members of the New Ham Chinese Association, the term, Nian Gao, translates to, getting higher, or taller, or better or more promising for the year to come. The tradition of making Nian Gao dates back centuries, with its origins rooted in Chinese mythology as a sacred offering. At the end of every year, folklore says, the kitchen god makes his yearly report to the Jade Emperor, according to China highlights. To prevent him from bad-mouthing their house, people offered Nian Gao. Leafy greens, for wealth. Spinach, lettuce, bok choy and other leafy greens symbolize prosperity, growth and good fortune and their presence in Lunar New Year dishes is no coincidence. The Mandarin term for greens, Qing Kai, echoes the word for wealth making these vegetables popular in stir-fries, soups and hot-pot meals. During Vietnamese Lunar New Year, or Tet, celebrants often include leafy greens in spring rolls and salads. In Korean culture, they commonly use them in dishes such as Korean barbecue and bibimbap to represent a wish for a prosperous year ahead. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.